Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to CMS Wire. My name is Raleigh Butler. I take it at this point you've read at least one of my articles on the various popular uh, chatbots, generative AI chatbots. This one is going to be an exploration of Bing AI's features. This was made by Microsoft. I got access to this by jumping on the wait list and um yeah i got through i got through fairly quickly uh so that's that um before we do anything else i'm going to post a quick reminder as to the other questions i addressed in the article i did these first four and that was the text above just in case you jumped straight to the video. Uh, we worked through these. In the video, I'm going to do the fifth question. Uh, before I hit submit on that, though, I'll tell you um, the the tone of responses. That's a that's a unique feature to, to Bing. I haven't noticed that so much in other places. It just right off the bat gives you um, three different options. And I chose more precise for this question and in the, the questions above in the article. Um, and yes, so, so let's go ahead and submit this question and we will see what it does. It doesn't take too long. And then we will take a look at what it says in terms of customer experience, what kind of advice it gives, and the structure of the response itself. So in terms of structure, one thing I really like about uh, the, the Bing AI is it automatically just without even you having to ask for sources, it will say, um, hey, this a uh, piece of information was pulled from this site, you know, a little uh, superscript number one, and that same link find down at the bottom. Um, it will frequently give you several. Four, four is not as many as I've seen before. Sometimes I see 12 um, recommended sources to pursue if you so desire. And then it will give you optional follow-up questions. Now, of course, you don't have to use those follow-up questions. You can um, type in your own prompt. That That is still completely possible. But let's go back and see what it actually said to us. So scanning the web. In terms of automatic support, human support, balancing those, it advises that repetitive sorts of queries, uh, things that pop up frequently in the FAQ section are easily handled by automated tools. And more specific issues, uh, refunds, sure, complaints, those would need human intervention more than likely and um, empathy of course that's a big part of customer experience is something that they're still trying to uh, optimize in AI um, so yeah learning how to switch between human versus AI in different situations what situation requires what so that's that that's a quick demo of Bing AI, and thank you for watching.